Hello, my name is Joshua Pines. They claim I'm a color scientist. I don't know how that happened. I work for an entity called Picture Shop, which acquired the entity I used to work for. Uh, it was a fly-by-night company called Tacticolor for 20 some odd years. And before that, another fly-by-night company called Industrial Light Magic. Way back in the day, we were more on the visual effects side, there was uh, Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park, Saving Private Ryan and Forrest Gump. At Technicolor, that was in the early days of digital intermediate when things were changing from photochemical finishing to a digital finishing process, even though there was still a lot of film involved. Interestingly enough, we had to do a lot of black and white stuff. There was Good Night and Good Luck, Nebraska, Roma, three films in a row with some guy named uh, Manuel Lebeski. So there was Gravity, Birdman, and Revenant. And I believe that won Academy Award for Cinematography three years in a row on those titles. We were uh, very fortunate to work hand in hand with Chivo on, on the look development, on lots of stuff. And he has personally stood me up years in a row. I've invited him to join our camp at Burning Man, and he always has some excuse like, oh, sorry, I have to shoot a pickup in South America. You know? It's like, Anyway, one of these days, maybe he'll join us. We don't start with one of these looks or viewing transforms that already drives it to a foregone conclusion. We start with a kinder, gentler viewing transform, if you will. has knowledge of, of the camera encoding, the camera color space. And it drives it towards something that's, it, it's not very high contrast. In fact, I think part of the name that has been given to this is low contrast or low con. And it doesn't severely limit the color gamut. It's like a block of clay that gives colorists or other people who like playing around with images a starting point from which they're not starting from complete scratch, but it's a starting point that they can decide if they want this to look like film noir, they want it to look like a rom-com, or is it a space opera? You know, is everything shiny and, 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 and very cool, or do they want it to be more more filmic, have warm highlights and things like that. If you're used to using lookup tables or viewing transforms, like the ones supplied by camera manufacturers, you're gonna load this lookup table and you're gonna go, well, that doesn't look very good. It looks flat, it looks low contrast, it doesn't look pleasing, and that is both its greatest weakness and its greatest strength. It is not a lookup table that you just use. It is meant to be graded. It is required that someone do some creative grading behind this viewing transform, but it is drivable, it is formable. You can make it look pretty much any, like anything you want it to look like. The solution that painters have come up with and then it was built into photography, it was built into film, is this concept of an S-curve that we raise the contrast, but we roll off the highlights and shadows. Now, if you're starting with log footage, at some point, in order to get this pleasing image that has the feeling of reproducing a high dynamic range real world scene, you're gonna wind up rolling off the, the, the highlights and rolling off the shadows. That's just one of the things that, that this, this low contrast starting point viewing transform does is it has that S-curve. It has built in the roll off of the shadows and the highlights. Not, not a lot, but enough that it's, it's a starting point. With this low contrast viewing transform, there are certainly folks that don't want to start from scratch or don't have the time to do look development. The idea is a DP would sit down with a colorist, use this low-con viewing transform as a starting point, 
grade behind it and come up with what, what we would call a show lot. In the event that you're thrown on set, we have produced a higher contrast version of this low con viewing transform. And what it is, is it's based on that low con viewing transform, but we put a reasonable amount of contrast enhancement into it so that it falls off the truck looking decent. So you would not have to drive it as far. It is not as good a starting point for complete look development, but it is a fabulous starting point for, hey, you know what? I need to hit the ground running and it still is very neutral, doesn't impose much of a look. It still wants to be graded, but it's gonna meet you halfway. It's gonna do some of the some of the heavy lifting for you. It's also a fabulous starting point and it is meant to be graded behind.